Welcome to my channel, Living Fruit with Little. My name is Debbie. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Um, today, what I'm doing is I'm going. I'm trying to dehydrate my eggs two different methods. Then and I start arguing. I've been looking, um, and I'm going to try to do it scrambled. Um, first, cook them and scramble, and then try to dehydrate them and turn them into a powder, and then scramble them like this. Now, I only have one of these. I'm not going to buy them unless I like it first. So that's why I'm doing it. And then this tray is going to be just for the scramble eggs. So we're going to see which way is going to do it quicker. He thinks the scrambling is a quicker method. But this dehydrate, I, I, like I said, I got this from the neighbor in the back. He didn't have a manual or nothing. This heats up pretty fast. Now, one day I might do it in here too try because it has a dehydrator but right now I'm just going to try this little method now I already I'm going to try milk one day and see what happens um and that but I already have powder milk that's one thing I did I got like three or four boxes I tried it and it tastes like milk so I, I don't have a problem with that but you know I need to start stocking up more on my shelf between the canning and everything as you see I mean, we are already stocked up with water. I got tons of um, sugar, flour. I got self-rising flour because, you know, you can do hurry up with two ingredients and do uh, biscuits. You know, that's why it's going to be there. But I'm going to probably put this in a Marley bag, pour it in there. But I, we're stocked up. These were on sale at uh, Food Line for uh, $5.99, I think, or cheaper. Um, they're, they're expensive, but it's a big jar. So we ended up getting a few jars of that. Peanut butter is very important. Um, there are only one can of cranberry sauce at the store, but, um, I got that for just the holidays, but still, everything we have is chili soups, you know, and I also got my vodka. Vodka, I got two of that, because that's great for, uh, solves when you do medical, um, herbs and everything, so I did that too, so. But yeah, this is what I'm doing, so let me continue and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just going to cook up the eggs. This I'm just going to pour onto the plastic so let's stay tuned all right as I was talking I, <laughs> I flipped it and it got a little you know brown but that's all right um I'm gonna cut them in little pieces I'm gonna you know try to get them as small as I can to get it on there so it's gonna be a little colorful but this is just a test run I want to just see the difference and another thing keep your eggshells um sometimes I'll put it in my grinder grind them up and just add it to my um, my soil outside to my gardens or I just directly throw it into uh, my compost out there and another thing too when I get my chickens I'll stop doing that and I mean I'll, I'll probably separate between but if you grind these up really well to where they can't tell so they they start eating their um, their eggs um, grind them up and put it in their feet put it put it there because it's great calcium for them for you know when it goes to laying eggs they say it's very good um, you know it's very good for them it's good calcium and it's another way to add to their feet because especially with the way the world is going this is why I'm trying to do different methods how to preserve different things because I don't know if I'm gonna have um, chickens all right so this I only did three eggs I'm not gonna do a lot of eggs because I you know I did three scramble and then uh, you know liquid and I'm just going to this is just basically I want to see how it does you know a lot of people um, did it scrambled you know what I'm saying so now We'll do that at the bottom, all right? And then, of course, I'm gonna use these guys. Now, I'm gonna just throw these on. Now, I can't make them too small. I mean, they're hot as hay now, but I can't make them too small because of <clears throat> they'll fall through the hole into the second part. You know, it's all about the timing because electric. Electric is expensive, but, um, I think, personally, before we even start, I'm going to say that the liquid onto the tray is the best way because it, I think it might flake or something, and then you can grind it. It just—it's a different way. I've seen somebody uh, freeze dry 
and I can't afford a free dryer, so I just, I'm going with what I had, you know, um, even though I would love to have one of those because it keeps the flavor of everything, but I see people doing it this way and they still said as flavor. Scrambling, I don't know. I'm just doing this to, to prove him. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So let me fill these tra this tray up and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I try to break it up. I'll, I'll, I'll keep going on and breaking up more. And then this, I'll give it to Gunny. Gunny loves eggs. So <clears throat> there's nothing in there, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. It's just plain, you know, eggs. Um, I'm going to be trying milk another time and see how that works. Um, I'm trying to see just, just to... Like I said, it's a test run. Now there's another thing. Uh, there's a guy who did um, devil eggs, and he threw it in water, like chunks like this. I don't think that's going to work. So the best way to do it is grind it up no matter what. Either way you do it. Um, you, if you do it scrambled, I have a feeling that you still need to throw it into, you know, and grind it up like a powder, just like the scrambled eggs underneath. You just need to make it into a powder. It works better because you add one tablespoon in and one tablespoon of water and just mix it up and it becomes scrambled eggs. It's just that easy, so. All right, so let me just put the lid on and we'll get this going. And I just do this. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> Excuse the lid, I had it to, you know, I, I thought there was something on it. It's not, it's just that it's so old, it's been used, so. All right. So now let me check the time. All right, it's 11:27. So I'll check it in two hours and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'll go back and forth and keep up with it. So I just like to know what the end result, especially before I go to work. All right, all right. I lost the footage at the ending. I'm trying to absorb it, but you see it dried. Everything dried here. I had no problems with it with the you know one scrambled. And these look a little wet, but they weren't until I put it in the blender and I start noticing uh, it didn't look right I don't know what I did wrong so I'm gonna have to redo this and do another video for you so stay tuned all right so I've been dehydrating in this for a couple days I shut it down because of you know electricity and I did a bunch of stuff I did some oranges um, not oranges apples pineapples lemons and now it's time to get it out now, I never have problems with these. This, see that? That might have to go a little longer because you can't have no moisture when you dehydrate. And then my sunbeam. So I have, at least I have two machines. And this was free. Maybe I'll, I'll link my other video. But these are ready. Apples, pineapples. And um, I just like to have them. I might get these discs because um, you've seen what the eggs uh, didn't turn out. I don't have trouble with this. I never really dealt with um, liquid. And um, and see, these were a little bigger. That's why it took longer. But it took about two days. I didn't want to show you the process. I just cut them. And that's why you need to make sure. Because you don't want to get moisture in there. Because once you get moisture, that's it. But these were my apples that were going bad. I had pineapples that was going bad. I had a couple of limes. Little limes that was given to me. Not many. And lemons. So that's what I did. I, I dehydrate. And I'm going to try the eggs once again. You see the failure that I did. So, but yeah, I'm really into dehydrating. I like to use it for different stuff. Um, I put them in jars. Uh, see this? I, I use it for, um, like, you know, if you want to do potpourri, you want to just have a lemon. So that's what it is. But, all right. Well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not sub, please sub to me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye now. I've broken down.